You'll definitely want to stay to the end of this video. Who's this guy running in the background? Because there's some really good information about tuning and what you should know. So stay tuned and watch the whole video because there's some good stuff in it. S2000s, 1000 cc injectors. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you learn anything of that, it would just be that uh, if you're gonna try to find a tuner for your car, 
Um, make sure you put in the research due diligence, get reviews because somebody might say, hey, yeah, I can tune AEM or Haltech or Motec, whatever. But um, anybody can tune wide open throttle, you know, and if you're not on a dyno, be a little bit more skeptical on that. But part throttle tuning is where it's at. And as you can see, you know, kind of things I was mentioning, I spend a lot of time on part throttle tuning because that's where you're mostly at driving. Now, if this is a race car, completely different tuning altogether. There's a lot of stuff we're not even gonna like go through uh, in the compensation tables. Um, but for this car, this customer drives it on the weekends, not a racer. So I wanted to make sure I spent a ton of time on the part throttle tuning. Uh, and again, I, I choose to tune open loop um, every single parameter that I can possibly touch or that the car can, can actually see. So for example, um, I'll drive the car, it's hot, I'll let it heat soak, then I'll start the car up, then I'll work on those um, compensation tables, and then on a cold start. So, you know, a lot, a lot of times you'll see people out there say, hey, you know, I'm on E85 or I'm on this and my car has a really hard time starting up or it's really lean or really rich um, during startup or, you know, I just got back from the grocery store and it's not starting or whatever. So a lot of it's just tuning. Everything is tuning. You can make any of these ECUs pretty much, and I say pretty much, because a lot of people argue that the Honda ECU is the best one out, but pretty much can mimic the factory ECU and drive like stock. There are variables that are gonna take that out of the equation, like massive injectors, E85 and all that stuff. So um, we do what we can for the best what we're given. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. If you do have any questions or you do want tuning services, feel free to hit me up. Um, I can tune on data. I'm gonna throw some old stuff in there. I don't even know if people do that anymore with Civics, Uber data, Neptune. Um, uh, haven't touched MoTeC, but I can tune Haltech, AEM V1, V2, Infinity. Um, Flash Pro, this guy's on Flash Pro, drives just like stock, it's 2200 cc injectors. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to have this opportunity to get back into the game. Uh, did a valve adjustment for the customer, <clears throat> um, swapped out the injectors, swapped out the ECU, um, gonna be wiring in the, um, the wideband for some OT feedback because I will end up putting it back <clears throat> in closed loop. Um, but the most important part is that you really should do most of your tuning almost all of your tuning in open loop and then close closed loop so that it's closer to the actual target air fuel and it's not going in so much of the short term, long term fuel trims. I mean, the part throttle is, is where it's at. That's what really makes the car come alive. Um, also got to do a relay for the big fuel pump he's got in there. So, uh, you know, I hope he, maybe one day he'll upgrade the turbo kit, right? And then get some E85, make some big, big numbers, you know, because the 85 is good. It's the best thing ever invented in my opinion. So, hey, like that subscribe button, like that subscribe button. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll hope to see you around. Take care.